this UCR team has been beset by injuries. The last thing they needed was to have uh, Borges go down with her knee injury. They've already lost one setter this year already. Serving will be Maeda. The ball dug up by Nisio. The ball hit by you of Via Pondo and blocked back. Via Pondo again. That's dug up. The ball is hit over by Uyato, almost backhanding that ball. Ball comes over. There's Maeda. There is Uyato. Maeda gets it across. Riverside tries again. That's blocked. But the block goes out after the hit by Riza, Megan Riza. Emily Maeda has been here five years and makes a lot of cool plays, but check out this one right here. Keeping that play alive. Hawaii didn't win the rally, but it was a really cool play by Emily Maeda. There's an ace that time by Cox. And that uh, cool play sponsored by Fujitsu Air Conditioning. 20 to 13. <laughs> Serving again is Risa. That ball hit by Croson. Croson really bombed that one. And they say that it is long. Croson thought she might have had a touch. You're right. Players are calling for a touch. Looked around for the linesman. Got no call. 14 serving 20. Risa. This is an ace just inside the back line. So she's on a mini roll here. Closes the deficit to five. Gets the attention of Dave Shoji. That was a good line drive here. You can see why this team has been well coached in the service area. Best in aces in the conference. Longo Uyato. There is Adolfo. Step out. And she just pumps that five. Del Pando. So the connection between Adolfo and Uyato has not been better this year. Look at this quick move to the outside. We ought to put it right there in the antenna where Adolfo likes it. The wide slide. Or the Molokai slide, you could call it. <laughs> Kayla Goodman comes into the front row. Along with Hartung and along with Adolfo. There's Croson with that big serve. Ball comes to Vio Pando. In the air by Hartung. Down the middle comes Croson. And Croson hits that ball long. Stauber now in the serve for Hawaii. 21 to 16. Pretty good set by Stopper right there for coming in cold. I thought it was, uh, she gave Croson a nice ball to hit. Croson just overswung a little too much adrenaline. Borges serving. Borges serves it wide. So it's 22 to 16. Hawaii closing in on the first set here. Lele Pali will come in to serve. Courtney Lele Pali from White and I. Product of Punahou. 22 serving 16. Dug up by Cox. Cox gets it over from her knees as Croson overpass. And that ball is hit by Dorsey just inside the back, the back line. It came up to her and she just jumped all over there. Well, Dorsey's there. Their best blocker, not known as their best attacker, but she gets a nice kill right there, finds the open spot in the corner. Hawaii continues a revolving door. More players come in. Stauber outside. That ball is hit by Hartung and Forster. And Forster is able to get it into the back row. Finally gets that off of Via Pondo. More changes for Hawaii. Every point. Well, it's that double sub that Dave shows he's using to try to get bigger at the net in the, in the last part of the game between 20 and 25. He likes to get that double sub in, get Uyato out of the front, and get a larger blocker in. Uyato serving. That ball hit over by Dorsey, and that goes off Uyato. So it's 24 to 17. Apparently, Dorsey did something wrong. She it was a, it was a, a lift called on Dorsey. Yeah, no force to call a lift on, on uh, Borges. On Borges, okay. That ball comes over and is just handled down by Castle. And the first, the first game ends with all kinds of players coming in, checking out, miss hitting. 25-17, Hawaii. A little, uh, some miscues here by the uh, Riverside squad here. They start off Ashley Cox hitting in the antenna. The set a little bit wide and misconnect. Another short, short set inside. A 
Nice set to the outside. Seven miscues in total. Seven kills, seven errors. That's why Riverside is now hitting zero, zero, and zero. Remember, part of that is Emily Borges, their setter, is really having to limp around a little bit with a bad knee. Um, she almost did not start tonight, couldn't even bend the knee. And, uh, but she just gutted it out and is doing the best that she can. There so you see we're right there. And she, I mean, she still is, is moving, but you can, you can tell she is not 100%. She's just maybe quarter of a step off, even her leaping ability not there. And they're playing on the hardwood. So as this match goes along, it may aggravate her even more. Ashley Cox will serve for Riverside. Hawaii leading one set to none. She actually should not even play against uh, Northridge on Wednesday night. Speaking of Borges, Hartung gets it over. Cox, Borges, ball hit over by Vialpano. Cross court to Hartung. Hartung rolls that along the tape. Didn't hit it really well, but she'll take it. And the ball drops in. Hartung got a favorable cable. For sure. Serving will be Uyate. Uh, Uyate, excuse me. The ball's dug up. The ball hit over by Riza. Riza really punched that one over good. So we're tied at one in the second set. Megan Riza, nice step out move, second kill. Riza is serving again. Dug up by Longo. Uyato. Ball hit over by Hartung. Good dig there by Nisio. And there is the block by Dorsey. Excellent block by Dorsey. She's been watching some film. We got some good scouting from her coach, Ron Larson, because she jumped right into the angle that Vorster was trying to hit. Vorster, one of the top, is the top kill percentage leader in the conference. Riza serving again. That ball hit over by Castle. <laughs> Castle hit that ball. That was a hundred percenter. That put a dent in it. You know, the dent doesn't last a long time, <laughs> but there's a dent and then it pops out again. That's how hard she hit that. Here's Hartung, tied at two. That's an ace. That went right by Nisio. Nisio may have thought it was out, but that ball was by her in a hurry. Three serving two. Hartung back to serve again. Hartung has had a magnificent year. Gets it in. Dug up by Nisio. Ball is hit over by Dorsey. Hartung. Borster. Borster saves it following the block. They go cross court. That ball is hit by Croson. There's Cox. The Alpato gets it across. Uyato, Croson. That's off the block and it's caught by the coach, Ron Larson. Croson does a nice job of taking the line. They were taking her angle, so she decided to do the opposite and hit the line with success off Borges. Our time to serve for serving two into the net. Jasmine White comes in for Nisio in my front row. White, Dorsey, and Villalpando serving will be Borges. Three serving four here in the second set. Hawaii leads one set to none. Borges gets it across. Hartung, Croson. Hartung to Uyato to Croson. And Croson just whizzed it. I mean, it was a blur. That ball was a blur. Yeah, Ron Larson got some match if he wanted. Two of his better blockers on one of Hawaii's better attackers, but Croson uh, chewed that block up and spit it out. Longo serving to go outside via Pando. There's Longo. Uyato backs at the ball, put over that time by Castle. Down the middle comes Hartung. Oh, she hit that ball off of Moncayo. Oh, me, oh, my, oh, that ball appeared really quickly in front of Moncayo. Such a poet. Such the poet. Moncayo's no doubt heard that before. Yeah. 
That ball is hit into the net by Longo. Hawaii leading six to four. Hawaii leading just enough. They're playing just good enough. They're not really dominating. Ball is hit over Croson, Longo. Back to Croson, double block. That's saved by Castle. Oyato tried a one-hander way back in the corner and they couldn't do it. That's a big block and it's effective. Oyato makes a nice run for this ball on the cover, but does not use two hands. I'm not sure why she didn't use both hands to control that ball. Ball hit over by Adolfo. That is hit back and then Adolfo too hands it. 7-5, Hawaii leading by two. And Maeda, the only senior. This is her night. She gets she comes another in round of applause. She's getting lots of applause because like she, she goes in and out. She's not on the court all the time. So it's pretty cool being a defensive specialist rather than a libero. Maeda serves, gets it in. Tom Kayo, gorgeous. That ball hit over by Cox. Croson. Croson has that sharp angle, and she's got the cutback shot down the line. She's got what's called a wide fan. She hits the ball all over the place, all kinds of angles. That's what makes her probably another all-conference pick again this year in a different conference. Maeda serving again. That's popped up by Moncayo. And Diego Hondo gets that ball into the net following the set. That time by Borges. Way leading 9-5. Maeda serves again. Pick up by Cox. Chased down by Borges. Here's Cox again. And Cox, I mean, she has a, a lethal arm. She's got the hops, too. It hops does. She's up the there, arm. and she ripped it right through the Hawaii block. Who says small players can't play? Big time volleyball. Playing on the outside on the Division One team in a good conference. Who's got 29 to 28 kills this year against her opponents? She's uh, she's the player. Six serving nine. Dorsey serves here in the second set, but puts it right into the net. And Hawaii's at double figures. 10-6 over Riverside. Riverside, a team that has really struggled this year. They're two and 15 in the conference, but you can see their potential. Hawaii leading by four. Croson serves near the net. Unable to handle it is gorgeous. Eleven six. Croson serving again. The ball hit over by Via Pando. And easily handling that. There was nothing in the middle that time for Hawaii. Hawaii just seemed to abandon the middle. Well, what happened was Maeda overpassed a very easy ball that Val Pando hit out of the back row and it resulted in a Highlander kill. Ball goes into the net 